So you're not quite at the top of the scale of awesomeness, but don't worry, this video has got you covered. This is going to teach you how to get right up to the top of the scale of awesomeness. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be grouping together the next two levels, which are the passive defender and the disengaged onlooker. Uh, to put things simply, the passive defender is someone who disagrees with the bullying but doesn't feel comfortable to do anything about it, maybe doesn't know what to do about it, and the disengaged onlooker is someone who is completely indifferent to the bullying. Before I get started on how you can move up the scale of awesomeness, I'm just going to be bringing in a few tips on how to avoid moving down. I think that the most important thing when it comes to not moving down the scale of, audi of awesomeness sorry, uh, is to not be an audience for the bully. Don't laugh at their jokes, don't crowd around going fight, 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 really not cool, not cool. Um, also a really important thing is look at what you're liking and sharing on social media. And I don't mean in a kind of like, oh, is it super deep? Like, by all means, like that really random post about socks. But please do not like and share stuff just because your friends have posted it and not look at it because it could be bullying. Always check. Does someone appear in this video or photo without their consent? Is it a flattering video or photo? Is there something mean? And if there is, don't like and share it. You can even go one step further and report it. But the moment you like or share, you're telling the bully that I think this behaviour is cool, your behaviour is acceptable, I'm totally fine with this, which you're not, so don't do that. <laughs> Another important thing is not to film the bullying. You may even think, oh, I'm helping, I can show this to someone, but no, you can write it down later. Filming someone without their consent, even if they are being bullied and you think it will help them, is never okay. So now that that's over, we can look at how to move up the scale of awesomeness. And before you even start thinking about bullying and people being bullied, just if you see someone sitting alone at lunch, politely ask them if they want to join you in your friendship group. They might say no, but they'll definitely appreciate the offer. Like, just reach out to people, because you might not always be there when that person is being bullied. You might not be conveniently walking down the road which they're being bullied in. But what do you do if you're walking down the road and you see someone being bullied? Well, first of all, you, if it's safe to do so, you can make it clear that you don't support the bullying and you can try and help the person who's being bullied. If you don't feel that that's safe, then you can find a teacher or a parent or an adult and tell them uh, what you have seen. I think a really important thing to do is to talk to the person who's been bullied and see what they want to do because sometimes it can be very tempting to wade in and be like I'm the hero of this situation and it is honestly really great that you're stopping bullying but you also need to talk to this person in private, ask them what they want to do, how they want it to be handled and support them with what they want. And always remember if you're unsure of what to do, if you don't remember anything else from this video, if you see someone being bullied, tell a responsible adult who you trust.